is the year 2028. Ah. Boris Wong is now the Prime Minister of Singapore and Ong Yi Kang is now the Deputy Prime Minister. The COVID-19 panatonic is over as COVID-19 has become as mild as chicken pop and we have all taken at least 20 jabs. You are still single and alone. And also, ah, Risaka Kang is still appearing in the COP every week even when Edwin Tong is finally retired. Yeah, I kid you not. Ah. This Miss Kang saga never seems to end. Ah. Very much like Taiwan Ah Cheng. On 27 December, she is called back to the Committee of I mean, Committee of Privilege, Committee of Privilege, to give more oral evidence after what the WT leaders have said. I know you just want the key points. So here's what you need to know about the latest here. It's simplified for you in broken Dutch English. Some of the CC if you don't understand my English, of course my English is here, Madam Sharifa. Never teach me normal English. Madam Sharifa, Madam Sharifa, Madam Sharifa, you! After this hearing, we are convinced that the title should be changed from the WP saga to Khan vs WT leaders. Because uh, right now, uh, it looks like WT leaders throw Miss Khan under the bus and Miss Khan could be busting. Huh? No, 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 I didn't use the word one. Uh. Before this, uh, it looks like we have a conclusion. Misinterpretation. Basically, uh, Mr. Seng wanted Kang not to continue life, but didn't directly say that. Uh. Then Miss Kang interpreted it as to continue to life. It's at like that time, right, my girlfriend and I quarreled. Then I told her I need some space after that. Uh. She bloody hell brought me an external hard disk the next day. Xiao, right? I'm referring to my phone space. Uh. Who the heck would still use that? But Miss Kang rose from the blue bus and said, No, they anyhow we say one. Well, I think it's still the truth. The WP leaders uh, said during the first meeting that when Miss Kang told them about the lie, they were concerned about her welfare only. But Miss Kang said, No, eh, they actually told her to continue with the lie. Eh. So if you remember, uh, Miss Kang sent a message to her apes, telling them that they told her to take the information to the green. Mr. Singh said that he never said that. Uh. But now, uh, Miss Kang said that those words came directly from Mr. Singh because she doesn't use this phrase. Actually, me also, eh, my English teacher, Madam Sharifa, never taught me this phrase, also. I have to Google to know what it means. Uh. Madam Sharifa, because of you, I have to do this kind of stupid. Also, uh, on the day before the next parliament sitting for Ms. Khan, uh, Mr. Singh said that he told her to take responsibility and ownership of the issue. But Ms. Khan said he never said that. Eh. She then interpreted it as continuing with the guy uh, during the parliament sitting. Uh, she didn't know what to do. So she was at Mr. Singh. Uh. Yeah, today I learned that other than sleeping in parliament, right, you can also use a phone one. Mr. Singh didn't reply, uh, so she continued to lie. Uh. She also said a few other things. Uh, so if you are free, uh, you can go watch the video. Uh. She cut hair, uh, so it looks like she's ready to fight. Because, you know, people usually cut hair to short short, right? When you offend the hairdresser or you are going for a fight. Last time I cut until Bota, right? Then I fight for two years. But of course, how about the so called mental condition that Mr. Singh said about Ms. Kang? We are now doing a separate video for that, so subscribe to this channel, then you will know when it comes out. Overall, right, you know who is going to benefit from this? Yeah. Duff SG YouTube channel that might just get a go button soon. Yeah. In the meantime, right, you can watch these two other videos for a recap of the saga. I hope they don't cover my face again.